Yeah, welcome back. Well, we've had some really active weather over the last few days, but this week marks an important weather anniversary in the tri-state history. That's right. Meteorologist Joe Fitzwater looks back on the Tug Fork River Valley flood. I'm on top of the flood wall in downtown Williamson. Now this flood wall helps protect this area along the Tug Fork River Valley from flooding. But on this week back in 1977, quite the opposite was taking place. A historic flood was in progress. Now the people that I spoke with that lived through the flood say it was folks that were working together that allowed this area to recover and prosper. In beautiful downtown Williamson in Mingo County, April showers bring May flowers. But these rain showers are a reminder in a part of Williamson and the Tug Fork Valley's rich history. It was pouring down the rain, just coming down in buckets. No one knew uh, how bad it was going to get. Cold fronts that was sweeping through April 2nd into April 3rd. With that front, it was mainly a light rain event. The problem was the front sort of stalled just to our southeast. And we had waves of low pressure develop along it and travel from the southwest to the northeast. And that created a pretty prolonged moderate rainfall event. The river was rising, I think, about a foot, foot an hour. So then we knew we were in trouble. People came out of the Mountaineer Hotel, this building that we're in right now, on the second floor in a boat. So I knew we had problems. We had widespread four to eight inches mounts across the upper Leviza, Tug Fork, and Guy and Dot basins. And from those heavy rainfall mounts, uh, we actually had record crests that were observed. And to this day, that is still the benchmark flood, especially on the Tug and upper Guy and Dot. There was a Buddy League basketball tournament there, and I was there with a friend watching that. And I remember a guy coming in and saying, if you want to get home, you better leave now because the water is coming up. We uh, brought all our stuff from the basement of the drugstore up to the first floor. But of course, that didn't do any good. Water uh, hit the ceiling in the first floor of the drugstore, so we lost everything. And everybody else in town lost everything, too. With every foot of water, we had one inch of mud. So in a building like this, which would have about 14 or 15 feet of water, You'd had 14 or 15 inches of mud, and it was everywhere. I didn't matter where you looked, it was mud everywhere. So everybody was instructed to throw everything out in the street. Everything, anything that got wet, throw it out in the street. You saw entire houses floating down the river, and they, we, there was two bridges where I lived there. There was a railroad bridge and a, a automotive bridge, and the, they would hit that bridge and it just splinter. It was just total devastation. It was a really natural disaster of epic proportions. So at the time, uh, talking 1977, that was estimated at a greater than 100 year flood reoccurrence event. And people just, were, uh, they all worked together. Yeah, we got together and worked together. And that's what got, out of, got us out of it as fast as we did. A lot of people did heroic things, um, trying to drag people out and uh, thank God for them. And for more information on the Great Tug River Valley Flood of 1977, check out our website at www.tv.com. Got more information on there as well as a lot of photos that you can view online. Of course, from Tracker 13, I'm meteorologist Joe Fitzwater.